Peripheral artery disease, or PAD, is a problem caused by circulatory problems. It occurs due to narrowed arteries reducing blood flow to limbs. When you develop peripheral artery disease, your legs or arms don't receive enough blood flow to keep up with demand. Symptoms such as leg pain when walking, claudication, often occur. Peripheral artery disease is also a sign of atherosclerosis, thus indicating you have a build-up of fatty deposits in your arteries. If you have peripheral artery disease, it is a sign that you need to make lifestyle changes. The good news is there is evidence that suggests it can be successfully treated by exercising, eating a healthy diet and quitting tobacco in any form. However, in this video, we're going to uncover three unique and easy ways you could help prevent the formation of peripheral artery disease and improve your health. Stick with us until the end as I think our number one might surprise you. But first, could you do me a favour and hit the like button and subscribe? It really helps support the channels and I greatly appreciate it. One of the key ways to prevent clogged arteries is to eat a diet that prevents dangerous molecules called free radicals from damaging our cells. In order to prevent this from happening, eating a diet that is rich in antioxidants is key. Hence why our number three, increase glutathione. Glutathione is often referred to as a master antioxidant. It is vital for many of the biochemical reactions that happen in the body and is the chief antioxidant made by our cells that assist to fight off free radicals. Free radicals occur from toxins, processed foods and bad lifestyle habits and of course lead to inflammation. Therefore having good levels of glutathione can help protect the cells from damage so inflammation is reduced. The benefits of this antioxidant are numerous. They include reducing risk of diabetes which is associated with increased risk of cardiovascular disease improving immune function, preventing inflammation, assisting detoxification, healing leaky gut, reducing oxidative stress and cellular damage, and most importantly for the topic of this video, it helps protect the heart. This is because cells, including cardiac cells, need it in order to function optimally. Interestingly, a 2009 study found that those with low levels had a much greater risk of heart disease and structural abnormalities of the heart. This begs the question, where do we get this antioxidant from? The foods richest in it are spinach, avocados, asparagus and okra. However, we can also assist our body to produce it by eating foods rich in selenium, such as Brazil nuts, brown rice and organ meats. Additionally, exercising can help the body produce it. But if your levels are dramatically low, then supplementing may be advisable. Next up, we're going to uncover how the types of fat you eat could be one of the most critical aspects for cardiovascular health. But first, if you want to learn more about reducing your risk of a peripheral artery disease, then why not download our free ebook, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol. Plus, get exclusive insights from some of the world's leading medical and nutritional professionals by watching the first episode of The Untold Story of Heart Disease. Both gifts can be grabbed simply by clicking the link in the description below. So go and claim them for free now. Number two is eating good quality fats. This is an essential step to keeping arteries healthy and avoiding peripheral artery disease. As studies have shown that low carb, high fat diets enhance the health of your blood vessels in comparison to a low fat diet. Fats help support our body. For example, they speed up metabolism reduce hunger, stimulate fat burning, improve LDL cholesterol condition, increase levels of HDL cholesterol. These are all vital for a healthy cardiovascular system. Plus, it's critical to understand that every cell in the body has a membrane which allows nutrients and oxygen to flow in and out of the cells. The membrane is made up of omega-3 and 6 fatty acids. Therefore, the quality of these fats that we consume affects the function of the cell membrane. If the fats we eat are rancid, they won't function optimally, and therefore our cells won't work optimally either. If the cell membrane is compromised, it affects the absorption of critical nutrients and oxygen into the cell. This is where disease starts to appear. Unfortunately, a large percentage of oils used in people's kitchens and restaurants alike are rancid 
These oils, whether from seeds, soybean or canola, are exposed to heat and light when manufactured. This turns the healthy omegas found in them rancid. When these oils are consumed, the omegas no longer work optimally and therefore our cell membranes are affected. Thus, avoiding rancid oils and eating fats in their natural state is key for healthy arteries. A 2012 meta-analysis looked at 16 randomised placebo-controlled trials and concluded that supplementation of omega-3 fatty acids significantly improves endothelial function. This means that the walls of blood vessels work better with omega-3s. These are also associated with decreasing arterial stiffness, thus decreasing the likelihood of PAD. So adding healthy fats to our diet is essential. These include whole nuts and seeds, avocado, olives, and extra virgin olive oil, which is cold pressed and kept in dark glass bottles. Additionally, fats are important for assisting the body to absorb critical vitamins. This leads me to our number one key for preventing peripheral artery disease, vitamin D. This is a fat soluble vitamin and some experts argue low levels of it are a huge contributor to heart disease. A 2008 study found that having adequate levels of this vitamin helps decrease your chance of developing heart disease. Vitamin D is produced when we're exposed to sunshine. Deficiency in it is associated with hypertension. Sun not only helps the body produce vitamin D, but also nitric oxide. Nitric oxide helps blood vessels dilate, which enables blood to flow with ease. Thus, it helps reduce damage to arteries. It also appears as another way in which the sun can help blood pressure. Researcher Gerald Pollack, PhD, made a fascinating discovery regarding the sun and blood pressure regulation. He identified something called the exclusion zone. This is basically the sun making blood vessels slick by creating an area between blood flow and the blood vessel wall. A larger area allows blood to flow with greater ease. This helps to improve the health of arteries. In order to get enough vitamin D, you need to be out in the sun when your shadow is shorter than you. Stay in the sun until your skin starts to tan, never long enough to burn. Then you should have enough. However, at certain times of the year, your body cannot synthesize enough vitamin D from the sun. Thus, it's important to eat foods that contain it, such as salmon, sardines, egg yolk and shrimp. If you don't eat any of those foods, then you may want to consider a quality supplement to ensure you have optimal levels for healthy arteries. Please note, before taking supplements, consult with your healthcare practitioner first. So there you have it, the true cause of peripheral artery disease and how to prevent it. Let our community know in the comments below which of the three steps surprised you the most. And before you leave, make sure to claim your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our Heart Disease Code channel and hit that bell button for more help managing your blood health. Thanks for watching. Have a heart healthy day.